Let, let me begin by saying that, unfortunately, no country can claim to be free of the scourge of violence and discrimination based on sexual orientation and gender identity or expression. My country is no exception. This is why Brazil has been and remains fully committed to elaborating and implementing through a participatory and gradual approach innovative measures to halt and prevent such kind of violence and intolerance. To achieve that goal, no effort is to be spared, both domestically and internationally. In fact, both fronts are firmly connected. Brazil's initiative abroad do not re reflect only the goals we want to meet at the national level. They also reveal our intention to help build a, a future where members of the human family can live free from violence and discrimination. We have made significant achievements so far. Brazil was the first country to hold in June 2008 a national conference on the promotion of the rights of LGBT people. Since that same year, the government has provided transsexual in, in individuals with free access to sex reassignment surgery at the public health system since 2008. In 2010, the national census recorded for the first time the number of self-declared LGBT couples in my country. In 2011, a national council to fight discrimination against LGBT persons was established and a second national conference held. This illustrates the important role the Brazilian government <coughs> attaches to civil society to ensure the effectiveness of initiatives to guarantee the human rights of LGBT people. Also in 2011, the Brazilian S Supreme Court determined the legality of same-sex same unions, which allowed for the recognition of same-sex marriage. Another important step was the cre cre creation last July of the national system for promoting the rights of lesbian, gays, bisexuals, transvestites, and transsexuals and combating violence against them. The system is expected to improve data collection and the coordination of efforts to prevent violence motivated by homo, lesbo, or, or transphobia in a transparent and participatory manner. These national examples find parallels in initiatives launched or supported by my country in international fora. We introduced a, re a resolution on human rights and sexual orientation before the UN Commission on Human Rights in 2003. <laughs> the initiative, though we withdrawn, paved the, the, the way for further developments at the regional and international levels. In 2007, Brazil, Argentina, and Uruguay co-sponsored the launching at the UN of the Yogi Akarta Principles. One year later, the Organization of American States adopted a re resolution sponsored by my country on the prevention of violence against LGBT people. We also worked extensively together with South Africa, Norway, and other partners to achieve the majority required to adopt Human Rights Council Re Resolution 17 slash 19 in, in, entitled Human Rights, Sexual Orientation, and Gender Identity. The need to keep momentum around this important breakthrough prompted my country to host a regional seminar in Brasilia in April this year. The, this event was followed by similar in, in initiatives in Kathmandu, Paris, and Oslo. Distinguished representatives, my friends, my friends from civil society, we have made important achievements over the past few years. As we endorsed this historic ministerial declaration, 
I also see that we are stronger and more united to face the challenges still ahead of us. In charting the future of our, our cooperation, Brazil believes that we should avoid the temptations of confrontation. We must take an inclusive and constructive approach that encourages countries of every region to join us in promoting our cause. To that end, our endeavor must be universal, non-discriminatory, non-selective, and non-politicized. In addition, we need a strategy of constant mobilization and persuasion. I am convinced that perseverance and focus will surely bring us significant results. In concluding, allow me to re reiterate my country's firm support to efforts aimed at ensuring to all human beings the right to live free from violence and discrimination on the, gr on the grounds of sexual op orientation or gender identity or expression. To that end, we will continue to engage in dialogue and cooperation at the bilateral, regional, and multilateral levels. Our commitment in this matter is firm and will re remain so. And I would like to quote a beautiful uh, expression I am seeing from my uh, seat, which is human rights for everyone, everywhere. Thank you very much.